This is Bianca and Zoe at the TLC Clinic in Vero Beach, January 2016. And the uh, video of the morning is on the left with a 28.376 plus 5. The video on the right is the afternoon, 28.075. So you got faster and had a clean pattern in the afternoon. Good job on that. And I really enjoyed Zoe, and she was very sweet. Sweet horse, a little bit stiff in the face and shoulder, so I'd recommend a couple of things for her. Go ahead and um, use that gift certificate in the bag for Sherry Still, and have her come out and have her look at her for chiropractic and massage, and see if maybe she's sore or stiff in her neck or shoulder or hips. That could cause the problem. Also, get her teeth checked by a good equine dentist or veterinarian, and make sure she doesn't have any sharp points that are causing her to want to be uh, stiff in the, um, the neck as well, or uh, stiff in the face. So I'm going to put these in slow motion here, and I wanted to uh, point out to you that your approach on the barrels is pretty good. You always want to give yourself, line up with third barrel, and come in with a nice arc, um, and then aim for about a five foot pocket going in three to five foot depending on the horse. Uh, you want to be aiming for this area so you only have two strides of rate and only two strides around the barrel. Um, so as you're, the way that you're coming in here you'll have two strides of rate and then two strides around the barrel. And that's what you want to aim for about a three to five foot pocket all the way around the barrel. So I'm going to have this come in and what I want you to notice here um, you go to the horn good on the barrel on the left. The right, it looks like you're staying two hands just a little bit longer, which is fine because you were able to uh, get her in there a little bit deeper so she doesn't hit the barrel. And you stay two hands uh, in the afternoon, which is fine. You can help guide her over more. Just always keep your hands low and um, you'll want to eventually get where you're going to the horn. You can use your inside leg going into the turn and your outside leg coming out of the turn if you need it. So that would be good. And then you sped up to a canter and um, it looks like she's on her left lead on the right and was on the wrong lead on the left so broke to a trot to switch. But on the, le on the right um, you stayed in a canter. The only thing is she gets a little bit um, stiff as you can see you had a nice pocket going in, but she gets a little bit high in her head again and stiff. So what I'd like to see you start doing is try to ride less with your uh, hands and more with your inside leg and look and ride straighter longer. Look out here more. When you're coming out of this turn, look right about there and don't look at the barrel and use your inside leg when you get here and that'll keep her going a little bit further and not turning too soon and then when you get on the back side of the barrel back here that's when you want to look up and use a little outside leg going to your next barrel okay so so far it looks pretty good there so you kept your lines nice and straight no rainbowing between the barrels which is really good that's very important to keep your lines good and straight. You had a nice pocket on the left going around the barrel, nice pocket on the right going around the barrel. But again, she gets her head a little bit high. So what you want to do once again is look and ride to this area where you want to ride four or five feet to the side of the barrel and about four feet past the barrel. Use your inside leg um, when you're going into the turn and a little bit on the back side. So your inside leg is more important. Keep your hands nice and low. That way she won't get her head up. And then use your outside leg leaving and look where you're going. So overall you did really good. I would like you uh, to I would like to have you go ahead and keep up with the drills that um, that we had uh, done throughout the day at the clinic and um, I think that would be very important for you and your basics so um, some of the drills that you could go ahead and keep trying um, when when you set up the barrel pattern and you're working the barrel pattern um, you could continue to let me clear that let me make that a little nicer to understand okay <laughs> so if you're going to the barrel pattern Make sure, um, it's not working very good. Let's try that again. If you're setting up a barrel pattern, we'll do it like this. Okay. Um, 
you're going to the barrel pattern. As soon as you get to this area, why is this not working? Let's let this go a little bit further. Once, kind of, I think it needs to match when I stop it. All right, so, so if you set up a barrel pattern right here, and you're going into your barrel pattern like so, go ahead and flex her. As soon as you get to this area, start flexing her a lot of nose in, shoulder out, and then finish tight. Same thing here. Flex her inside hand and leg, nose in, shoulder out, and do that in your slow work until she learns to uh, bend and flex better. You can also do that exercise that we did in the drill with the figure eights, uh, big figure eights and small figure eights, and make her flex nose in, shoulder out. You can also do the pole bending drill where you do serpentines with the nose in and shoulder out. Um, that's a very important drill as well to get more bend and flex. So do the drills that we taught in the clinic. The inline barrels is a good one. Go straight and then rate, slow down a little bit, then turn, make a pretty circle, nose in, shoulder out, go cue again, rate in this area and then turn again, nice pretty circle, nose in, shoulder out. You can stop, do a roll back and then do right turns the same way and roll back and go back and do left turns. So just keep working on uh, some of the things that you learned in the clinic about flexing her. You might want to try the lighter bridle for your training during the week and the longer shanked bridle for your competition. But she definitely needs to look be looked at for a dentist and chiropractor and see if she has any reason why it's affecting her training. And then if the, they both say that she's okay, uh, then you would go ahead and just keep working on getting her more broke in the face, uh, left and right, and broke in the shoulder where you can move your shoulders over doing your leg laterals as before, like serpentines. So thank you for coming to the clinic. I really enjoyed meeting you, and keep me posted on your progress. Yay!